Wow, look at this chicken right here, guys, from the chicken curry in Domagheti City, Negros Orient. Yeah. And I have our beans right here and our rice. Bro, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So the guy just looked at me, he said he's a virgin. <laughs> are, you, are you a girl? I'm I'm asking you, you don't want a girl? Like you don't want to have a girl? Like, okay. <laughs> that is we are the world. Yeah, we are the world. Yeah. Oh, you are a yeah. good singer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When the world must, must come, come together, together as one. one. There are people dying. Wow. To lend a helping hand. Really nice job, you know. There's a choice we're making. Yeah, yeah. We're saving our own life. Yeah. It's you, we make a better day. Yeah. Just you and me. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Negros Orienta. So today I'm in Domagheti and I'm about to explain my worst travel experience ever. So I, I could say experiences. So recently things have not been that easy, but it is what it is. Take a look around here. So this is Domagheti city. My hotel is right here. I shouldn't have been in that hotel, but that's what I'm about to tell you guys. We have my inner side right here. Should we try to my inner side in Negros? Hi, hello. <laughs> Look at the kid waving out there. So this is the Magetti City, guys. And I actually read online before. This is actually one of the best cities to retire in, in the Philippines. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna show you around. We're gonna explore this city this morning before I leave. Hello. Hi, my friend, how are you? <laughs> yeah. So before I leave this morning, we're gonna explore the city, but make sure to stay tuned, guys. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about my worst travel experiences in this city. Not just in the city, but quite recently. The first thing I wanna do is to explore a little bit, check around, try to find food, and ask someone, hi Kuya, how are you? Yeah, where, yours. where can I get a boat later? I'm going to Sikiha. Yeah, that's where it's okay. Uh, what? Do you know the schedule? You buy already a bar, a pass. Pass? Pass? Pass crab. Going to Sikiha? Yeah. You ride a pass crab there in the pier. All right. In the pier. You go sure. to the pier. You just walk in right. this Yeah, side. just walk in this side. There, you, you see, you see, uh, see there? Yeah, the water. Yes, yes, yes. All right, thank you. Thank you, my friend. So uh, I'm gonna get a boat later. I'm not gonna stay here, guys. But ladies and gentlemen, this is your boat success. And if you are new here, I do travel videos around the Philippines. Today I'm coming live from Negros Orienta. Negros in, <laughs> I'm a Negro in Negros Orienta. <laughs> Negro in Negros Orienta. <laughs> I should have actually done a video here asking the people is Negro or racist war, bro. I can stay here guys, like my experience was not that great here, so I don't want to stay here. Hello my friend, how are you? First thing we gotta do is to go find food to eat and explore a little bit before I leave this place. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so if you are new here, I'm success. I do travel videos around the Philippines. And if you want to stay tuned for all of my travel vlogs from the Philippines, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned as I tour you around the Philippines. So today we are in Negros Oriental. And if you don't know, Negros Oriental is actually a place uh, that a lot of foreigners are residing right now because most people retire in this place right here. The weather is freaking dramatic today. Uh, it's not the best weather, but I'm not sure if I should go try the my inner side there or just walk this way and talk to you guys so there are a lot of foreigners here foreigners are not strange here so people here are used to foreigners because a lot of people are retired here in Negros Oriental so basically while walking on the street you can you could see foreigners here 
So let's do a little bit of POV. Got one right here. Here. Hi, my friend. I'm cool. How are you? So he just spoke to me. That's a foreigner. So we are basically walking in the public market or this market right here in Negros Oriental. So one thing I'm gonna do is to try to ask uh, the locals around here to, rec to recommend um, the local food, the most famous local food that I, I could try. He Hello, my friend. How are you? Um, I wanna eat. Can you recommend the most local food of Negros Oriental or Domagedi? What's the famous food that that's uh, like that the most popular food that you can make in Domagedi okay. or food from Domagedi. Uh -huh. You go inside there. And inside ask. here? Yeah, there. There's an eatery inside there? Yeah. Alright. Okay. But what do you have here? Charcoal. Charcoal. Oh, we have this in Africa. You use it to grill? <laughs> what? This guy don't want to tell you, he's so shy. Alright, so he asked me to go in the market here. But I want to explore really outside before going in the market. He asked me to go in here and ask the people. So, oh, look at the market right here. Wow. Oh, look, look here. Wow. Okay, I think there's a food center right here. Wow, oh my god. Hello. Hello, good morning. How are you? Fine. I'm hungry, I want to eat. Oh, oh no, I, I, I think we're gonna eat here, guys. We're gonna eat here. Just look, look at the food here. A lot of Karindira here. Is it the food in Karindira or just the place? How much do you sell the food? How much for one order? Order 60 pesos, 30 pesos, 20 pesos. Oh, 60 pesos is the highest? No, it's 60. 60 pesos is the highest? Yeah. Wow, that's so cheap already, guys. Karin, you in Manila, it costs, I think, 100 plus or something. 60 pesos, and you have rice? With rice? 60 pesos with rice? No, and without rice. Our with... rice is 10 pesos. All right. That's good. I, I want I want to try. I want to eat. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Domagetti. This is Domagetti, right? Yeah. And we are about to try the food here. I'm not sure. Oh well, yeah. Which food do you recommend me trying? What? Which food? Which food do you recommend me trying here? Uh, chicken curry. Chicken curry. Yes. Why is it chicken curry? This one? Yeah, yeah. You. Okay. And what? I want to try two. Fish, Where is fish to Nola? Where is it? Fish, fish to Nola. No, that's chicken. This no, one is fish. Very nice. This fish also. Fish? Yeah. Is it coke? No. No, I don't. <laughs> What's this? Is it your beans? Yeah. White beans. White beans. Yeah. Okay, I try. I try this and the beans. I love beans. Okay. I really, really love beans. I'm so excited to try this food here, guys. No rice. Rice with rice. One rice. Two, no, two rice. Two rice. Okay. Yeah. I love rice. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It looks tasty. Spicy. Really tasty. How much for this? 30 pesos. 30? Yes. And how much for this? Rice. 60. 60. Oh, look at my two rice there, guys. This one, this one. Okay. What's the name of your place? What's the name of this place? Mas Rita Eatery. Mas Rita Eatery. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when you are in Domagetti, make sure to check out Mas Rita Eatery. Hi. Hi. The wow. <laughs> Sabao. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, so we are also getting this one here. Oh, look at look that it, chicken. Ne? Look at that chicken. Is it spicy? No. Can you add a little bit of spice? Okay. Thank you. you. Put, uh, chili. Yeah, chili. Eh? This one. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Thank okay. you. Do you have water or soft drinks or what do you have? 
Mineral water. Mineral water? Something's only royal. Royal? Yeah. Give me give me one bottle of mineral water. Okay. One water. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm about to eat right now. But just before we eat, if you are new here, I'm success and I do travel videos. Please uh, please smash that subscribe button and stay tuned, support the vlog, hit that support thing. So I travel more today. I'm in Lagos, Oriental, precisely in Domagedi City, and I'm about to try the food here for the second time. Last night I ate. Ooh, look at this right here. Look at this right here. The beans. We got a beans here, guys. And we got rice here. Wow. Try the food and show you guys. Mmm, wow. Really tasty. The curry is really, really tasty. Wow. Wow, I, I like it. I love this. Let's try the beans. I've never tried beans in the Philippines. I mean, from Filipino. I've eaten beans, but from more of African style. But from Filipinos, let's try the beans from Filipino guys. Wow. Mm. It's good. This is really good. Really good, guys. <laughs> really, really good. I'm gonna eat and I see you guys later. Wow, look at this chicken right here, guys. From the chicken curry in Domagedi City, Negros Oriental. And I have a beans right here and a rice, a bottle of water. Welcome to a brand new vlog, guys, here in Domagedi. Together with him, uh, traveling around Philippines. Yeah. My name. Uh, by the way, my name is Jeff Arab. What, what's your Facebook page? What's the name? Uh, Jeff Arab. You right. can uh, also uh, search and uh, like Follow the him. video, subscribe, and good luck. Thank you, man. Travel with him, watch his video, All right. and go with him. Along Thank with him, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. You take care. All right, guys. So we are done eating, and the food was amazing. It was delicious. I highly recommend this place. Make sure to check out their restaurant or eatery right here. Once you arrive here in Domagedi, what's the name again? Max Retas Eatery. Okay. So it's in a building and look here. So these are the food they have here. One more time, I'm going to show you guys here. And thank you, my friend. I'm going out here, right? Okay. All right, same way. Bye. Bye bye. Oh. We just go outside, but it's about to rain. But I'm gonna to talk to you guys while walking. It looks a little busy. Yeah, it's a little busy. Oh, is it a tricycle? You know, every time I go places in the Philippines, look at this one. Yeah. So big. Every time I go in different places in the Philippines, you have different experiences. I don't know. This is not a trash. I don't know what, what. It's so big. It's a very big, big version of trash. Hi. All right, guys. So first off, let's start by saying you already know the story of the camera, which I don't want to talk about anymore. But I decided to leave Oslo to Negros Orienta. And I think the city, the city is Domagedi. It's my first time here, it's Domagedi. So when I got here, I mean when I got to the boat, because you need a boat from Oslo, you need to go somewhere, get a boat, and go to Domagedi. Oh. When I got out of the boat, I was the last person to enter the boat. Because the first boat I went to, they said they are not operating. And the boat's already dropping off there. I had to take another trashy go to go to this boat. And I was the last person to enter the boat. When I got on the boat, we got to Domagetti. Not Domagetti, we got to the port somewhere. I don't even know the name. And I took another bus to go to Domagetti. So when I got to Domagetti, I paid the driver 
not knowing my wall light has fell in the bus. So I basically I lost my wallet. Like I lost my wallet, my ID card, my ATM cards, the money I had. I, I lost everything. I'm new and I put a bus ticket in the wallet. So I explained to the guys in the bus terminal and everyone was just staring at me. Hi. Like you know, like I'm saying something crazy. Everyone was just staring at me like stupidly at first. And they, they were like, they are not interested. They seemed not interested in what I was saying about my wallet or whatever. I felt like it was not important to them. I think I'm getting lost. Uh, I want to talk to you guys, but it's raining. I think I'm getting lost. So it actually felt like what I was saying to them was not actually important. So no one was giving me at attention, actually. I need to go this way. And I feel so bad. I started freaking out because I have my ID card that's very important to me. I have a very important ID card in my in my wallet. Aha! And I have my ATM card, which I know they could not use because they don't know my password. I have some cash in my wallet. They talk about one hour. We were standing talking about the wallet and. Asking me the, the number of the bus. I don't know the number of the bus. I'm new. I don't know which way the bus went to. And I was just standing in the terminal confused. I'm gonna stand here a little bit. So I was standing in the terminal very confused. I messaged my fiance about it, like, oh I lost my wallet and I'm confused right now because the guys the guys are not actually uh helping me out to get the wallet and the worst part about it was that I was standing there and the people in the bus terminal some of them were already packing their stuff going home like the, the workers like they don't even care you know you have a passenger especially a foreigner who has this problem have a situation forgot his wallet in the car and we should all know how wallet is important to every one of us and the guy were like packing their bags going home getting on buses going home it was one of them, one of the uh, workers there came to me and asked me like to explain. So after one hour, this guy asked me to explain what happened and I explained to him, luckily I had the ticket of the boat. So it's raining guys, that's why I'm standing here, it's, it's raining. Luckily I had the ticket for the boat I used or the ferry. So I showed him the boat ticket. I said, this is the boat I used to come to Lagos Oriental from Oslo. And after I got down from the boat, I got in this bus and the bus dropped me off here in the terminal. But then after the bus dropped me off in, dropped me off in the terminal, the, the bus actually left and I forgot my wallet where I was seated. My wallet dropped in the bus. So it was that time that the guy really asked me a lot of questions and I told him and then he recognized or he knew the driver. He asked me a few questions about the driver, which all of them, like all the guys there were not able to do that. They were just like, oh, like they can't do anything. So I, I really feel bad, like I really feel bad. And I asked the security guys, like, so why are you working here? Do you have a security camera? Because if you look in the security camera, you're gonna see the number of the bus or you're gonna recognize the bus. But they were not able to do anything, guys until this guy, this guy who came up and talked to me, like he asked me questions and asked me if I could remember the driver. And one thing I remember that the driver had bare hair, like his hair was bare. So I told him that the driver has bare and then he will remember, he said, oh, that's Amaru. He called the name of the driver. He said that the driver is Amaru. So I actually relaxed a little bit. I was still worried, like if, if another passenger got in the bus and saw the wallet, they would take it. But luckily for me to cut a long story short, that guy helped me and took me to a motorcycle driver and we start to chase the bus. And luckily for me, I got my wallet. So I got the wallet, I got the money and everything. And luck, I was really lucky. But another thing that happened last night was that after all these experiences with the wallet, stress about travels and everything, I booked a hostel online in Domageti here in Lagos Orienta when I got out of the hostel guys the hostel was closed there's no light the place is so dark the house is like a haunted house and I cannot even enter the gate 
and it's there close. The name of the hustle is there. I have the, the confirmation, the booking, and the confirmation, and everything. And at that time, we're talking about 11 p.m. at night. 11 p.m. at night, after traveling from 2 p.m., like 2 p.m. in the day, I left Oslo traveling. 11 p.m. at night, I'm, I'm here. I don't have a place to stay. I don't have a hostel. I book online. I don't have my wallet. So luckily for me, I, I had to use my phone to book another hotel. But it was really a terrible experience for me, and I, I was really, really, really stressed. And I don't know what's happening. Like the end of the year, and guys, you know we are in Christmas season. Christmas is is just here. Everyone is celebrating Christmas or, or celebrated Christmas recently, but everything has just been so like complicated for me. I don't know how to say it, but things have just been complicated for me, and. It's so sad to know these things are happening, but one good thing is that last night I realized that these things happen when something good is about to happen for you. I don't know what's about to happen for me, but hopefully something good is about to happen because I lost my camera recently, lost a wallet. Luckily, I got it back and I booked a hotel. I couldn't stay in the hotel and I was so stressed traveling around. It was not a good experience for me, man, and these things happen when you travel. So if you're coming to Negros Oriental, if you're going to travel here, please be careful. Be careful with your stuff, look after your belongings, and everything. Just be careful. It was not really a good experience for me. I was really stressed. I was really, really stressed. Wow, it's raining. I need to go get my stuff. I need to go to another place today. I can't stay here with the horrible experience I've had in this place. I can't even stay too, too nice here. I already say one night here. Uh, I'm not saying the place is really bad, but uh, it's not just a place for me at this time right now. I'm, I might be back here. I will come back here another time, but I can stay here. So how, how many hours? How many hours from here to, to my uh, from city here to hall? Secure, how many hours? It depends upon the road. If you have the first crop, it's almost 45 minutes. Just 25 minutes? 45. 45 minutes. If you get a ferry boat, it's almost too hard. Oh, okay. So we. You said what, what's the name of this mall? Unita. 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 Alright. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> You're asking me I'm single. Why? I'm, I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> so the guy just looked at me, he said he's a virgin. <laughs> I have a fiancé. <laughs> I have a very beautiful fiancé, bro. <laughs> My fiancé is so beautiful. She's the most beautiful say woman hi. in the world. Uh, oh, say hi. Did you say say hi? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. He's telling me he's a virgin. Why, why should he tell me? You should tell a girl. I have only small stuff in this. What? You should tell a girl, not me. You don't want a girl? You don't you don't want a girl? What? what? Are you are you a girl? Uh, girl. 50 50%. 50, 50, 50 years. I'm 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 asking you. You don't want a girl? Like you don't want a girl? There are so there are so many beautiful ladies in the Philippines. Why you don't want to have a lady? So this guy, he's been walking behind me, like, he's been saying hi to me. And we got here, he told me he's a virgin. <laughs> he's a virgin. What? Christmas bonus. What? Christmas bonus. Yep. Why is it Christmas? <laughs> what do you mean Christmas bonus? <laughs> it's raining, guys. It's raining in Domagadi City. It's raining here. The street is really busy, and you see a lot of foreigners here. I saw one here. You have a McDonald right there, and you have a lot of lady boys here. <laughs> the lady boy tell me that he's a virgin. Bro, what are you talking about? I have the most beautiful VSC in the world.
No, you stay in your country because this this place is good for you, bro. All right, so we gotta go under the ring, guys. We gotta go under the ring. No, I have a fiance. I'm engaged. You're engaged? Yeah. Maybe you need a little woman. No. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want that. I cannot, I don't want to cheat on my fiance. Oh, you're a loyal. You're a loyal. It's called fight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta walk 600 meters. And this is, this is my experience so far in Domagadi City. So this has been my experience so far in Domagadi City. I'm about to to leave. It's amazing. It is actually a great place. Uh, it was not just good for me when I got here. Yeah, you got these little shops right here. Hi, Kuya. You have a guitar. Ukai, ukai. You have a ukai. Hello, my friend. Yes. How are you? See foreigners here. A lot of uh, foreigners here and you know people retire here so that's something about this city people retire here this street is actually busy hello my friend how are you hi, hi. <laughs> so basically you have all of the markets and the shops here on this street here I'm walking down to the port because I need to get a boat it's a rainy day, but it has been amazing here. The people there were actually a little friendly talking, but just so sad that I can't give him what he wants. I think he want a guy, but I'm not, I'm taking, I'm, I'm not single anymore. And the truth is that even if I was single, that's not my thing, guys. I can't do that. Uh, I can't do that. I better go for girls. All right, so this place is actually very quiet right now. Uh, yeah. We got a little church right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it was nice having you guys again on the vlog. And once again, it's your boss success. And I actually share these uh, travel experiences with you, so you could actually be aware of things to expect when you're gonna travel. Or uh, just to share my, you know, uh, travel life with you guys. The Magadi Christian Church. The Magadi Christian Church right here. So it's amazing to travel, but. There are also a lot of times that we go through a lot. We go through a lot. That's why I appreciate all of you guys who support me. Recently, uh, when I said my camera was down, uh, I just received a notification on my Gcash that night. I received a 200 pesos from someone, and that could be one of my subscribers. And uh, another person sent me a PayPal of 600, 600 pesos. That's about 10, 10 United States dollars or euros or something. Yeah. I, I'm happy man that people care yeah I'm happy that people care and I actually have one person here from I think he's he's from the US or she's from the US who always hey my friend who always send me super thanks and I get I get notified every time uh, they send me the super thanks my friend where, where can I get a board going to Sikiho please yeah, yeah. I walk on I walk that way. Alright, thank you. Oh we are almost here. See the water. See the city right here. The streets right here. The Magadi City. So I have this one subscriber who always send me a super tanks. Almost every time. Like more I think more than four or five times this subscriber have been sending me super tanks on the on the vlog. Hi. Why? 
He's calling me. Why? Daddy, we've been there one. No, I don't want to buy. Are you, are you calling me for something else? I don't want to buy. Uh, I want to get a boat going to Sikiho. Uh, where's the boat going to Sikiho? Yeah. The boat. Boat going to Sikiho. Boat, boat, yeah. How long do I need to walk? Seven hundred pesos for you. Uh, no, sorry. Next okay. time, okay. Yeah, and oh, noisy here right now. Because of so many cars here. So as I was saying, this person usually send me super tanks on my channel. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And I also have one of my subscribers from England who messaged me uh, about two weeks ago. She messaged me and uh, asked me for a, a send wave or what? And she donated to the channel. She just donated about, uh, that could be 50 euros or more than 50 euros, I'm not sure. It was more than 3,000 pesos donation to help me travel. Um, and I actually want to openly appreciate them here. I want to appreciate them sometimes when you want to give up and you think of these things, they help you to keep going. Really, really help you to keep going. Yeah, and with the problem, with the issue that I have with my camera right now, one of my good friends from the US promised me to get me a camera when he's coming here next month, which is January. So January he'll be here. He promised to get me a camera. So I keep my finger crossed for that, and I'm, I'm so excited for that. But we are walking on the coastline. I think I should try to cross. To... Hello, my friend. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Wow, what a great outfit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? Wow, Merry uh, Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Where did you come from? Uh, Manila. I came from Africa, but I'm traveling around the Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh? And what, what place in Manila? Uh, Makati. Makati? Yeah. yeah. Where? Makati, Ordovino? Las Piñas. Las Piñas, just like that? Yeah. yeah. I know, I travel, I'm traveling right now, so like, I, I'm everywhere. Ah, really? Yeah. You know the song, You Easy for Africa? What? You know the, you know the song, You Easy for Africa? USA for Africa? Yeah. Who's camera time? Ah, okay. We need a certain call. That is, we are the world. Yeah, we are the world. Yeah. Oh, you are a good singer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When the world must, must come together, together as one, one, there are people dying. Wow. To lend a helping hand. The blind to keep this game over. Yeah. We are the world. Nice. <laughs> we are the chief. Yeah! We are the ones who make a better day to less of it. It's like that. Very nice song, you know? There's a choice we're making. Yeah. Yeah. We're saving our own life. Yeah. It's you, we make a better day. Yeah. Just you and me. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Whoa! Amazing people in the Philippines. I, I think this, this side really looks different. Look at the house here. This is kind of like a Spanish, old Spanish house or something because it's right beside the ocean. Yeah, it's right beside the ocean. It looks really different. And I saw a lot of uh, foreigners around here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not to go far, and this is how. Right here, we have some foreigners right there eating. That's why I said this side looks different. It looks more cleaner with beautiful houses. This is like an old Spanish house right here. I'm not sure, but it's, it is actually like a very old Spanish house. All right, guys, so once again, it's your boy success, and this is how we come to the end of this amazing video. And I wanna appreciate all of you guys who've been watching the vlog till this time, who've been supporting me. I love you guys, and we are heading to another destination. I love you guys, and see you guys in the next one. If if you're new here, just before you go, make sure to smash that subscribe button for your boy's success to help me travel more. Hit that super thanks. Donate to the channel to help us travel more. 
and let's go see you guys on the next destination.